Oh. Well, got Range Rover. What is it? Land Rover. Land Rover, Land Rover. Discovery in with the wipers that keep turning off. It's been to a garage. I've checked all the voltages into the motor, and they say that when the motor turns off, the voltage is gone. So they suspect it's something else. So we're going to strip it out. Let's get straight to the motors. There's no point in checking relays and stuff. Let's go direct to it. See exactly what it's doing. See what we're losing. And then, yeah, we'll show them on the diagram how it all sort of works. But so apparently on low speed, it mucks about mainly on low speed, doesn't it? Yeah. It stops. High speed can continue to work for a little while, but then that stops as well. So it could be seized up linkages. Could be the motor mucking about. When it stops, it happened to me on high speed. It does look like it. It, it sounds simple, it just looks like a motor season, but it's, it's probably not going to be as simple as that, is it? Yeah, so, but. right, let's get that stripped out, test directly to the motor, and see what we've got going on. <laughs> right, so we've got it all stripped out. Um, we've got our test leads up on the motor. Let's show you what we're going to test on the screen, explain to Barney how this sort of system works, and then we'll see what we've got going on. This is your two relays. Yep. They are changeover reloads though. So this one, it's got voltage going up to it, to both coils, that power. Same power powers these two. So these are two outputs for the motor. They come through to here. That is just a switch. So when it gets to the bottom part, switches to say that it's in that position, that tells body control module to then turn the relay off, yeah? So that's a yeah. time thing. It's literally only one cycle. It'll keep knocking that one on. Okay. So we're not worried about that. We've got full power in, into the motor. And then we've got low power, which is still 12 volts. Both of them are going to come in 12 volt. But that motor is going to go slower if it comes in on that one than it does on that one. Yeah. Because? That's a resistor. That's a square thing. <laughs> There's a square thing in, inside the motor. So inside the motor, we've got this resistor. <laughs> that will slow the power down to the armature of the motor. So, But if we put power in on this one, it does spin fast, doesn't it? A lot of the time, it spins fast. If we go in for the resistor, doesn't mean to say the motor... In fact, when, when it does fully stop, it does stop, doesn't it? It yeah, doesn't... It don't go anymore. It don't go anymore. So... Trying to get the motor to turn from standstill. If you've got full 12 volts, it might just jolt in, and then while it's spinning, it's okay. With a low power going through it, the chance of it working is going to highlight it more if it's got a low speed one, yeah? Okay. So, or low volt one. So, all it does when you turn, turn the first one on, it puts power straight through to the low speed, yeah? Turns that one on. So it'll come through the 12 volt, through that relay, up to that wire. When you turn the next one on, this relay stays on and this relay flicks down. So it literally goes from high to low, yeah? Yeah. So although this one, I don't even know why that one's there. Why would they use that? It's a weird system. That's the on one and that's the speed, on and speed control. Yeah, I mean, it just goes through and then back out. Not really sure why, they, why they've done it like that, but that's the way they've done it. So we're going to test straight onto the motor, aren't we? Oh. So we're going to test here and see what we've got going on. And then we'll have a look. Yeah. Sounds good. Right, just quickly show you what we got. We've back probed into the motor. So we've got green and red wire coming out, round to here. And we're just going to test them here, see what's going on. So I'm going to actuate it. Barney's going to test what we've got going on here. See what we've got. Ignition on. So, uh... so on the the blue wire, which is for the... Ah, oh, maybe they're not parked. Eh? Uh, are they both gone green now? Yeah, they're both green now. Right, now what we got? That's single speed. Single speed. Well, that's slow speed, yeah. On the slow one, we've got 11.8 volt. And on fast speed, we've got Earth still. Right, now let's go to fast speed. Got 11.8 volt on the and fast speed. And the other speed. one? That might have a funny voltage because it'll be picking up off there. At so, 32 to 34 Yeah, that's, just, that's because the motor hasn't got power going to it. A motor, when it hasn't got power going to it, turns into a generator. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it's actually back feeding back through there. Okay. Um, but if we go back, right. 
See, when that motor's jolting about, we're on low speed. Oh, it, it starts back feeding. So it was sitting at 11.9 and it jumped to 34. I need it to stop. So now it's completely stopped. Completely stopped, voltage hasn't changed, yeah? Yeah. And goes, go to the red one. Uh, we've got 12.5 volt. Right, what have we got now? Earth, Earth on so the we've got nothing on that one. 12 volt on oh, 12 volt. Earth. So this is the problem the other garage had. They'd go to it and they say it's stopped, but we've lost a life. But it actually turns itself off after a, when it knows it's not moving. It doesn't know what's going on, so now it's turned itself off. Yeah. But if I turn it back on. Yeah. So oh. now it's. So I had to t actually. Act, yeah. So it's turning itself off all the time. So when it was being tested before at the other garage, they they'd get it like this and go, oh, actually, let's go and test it now. Drop the live. And they weren't. Because again, you can't get these sort of tests set up as quick as you want to. So yeah. it's confirmed it's a motor. Right. So we're going to put a new motor in it anyway. Um, because we're not going this far and not putting a good motor in it. The customer wants to drive to France next week, so we're not mucking about with it. Um, but let's get that stripped out, see if we can actually see where the resistor is, see if it's a connection between where it goes in through the resistor and out, yep. or whether it's... In fact, now it's completely stopped. If we go on to high speeds, it stop again? Right, yeah, so... Well, maybe I'll turn the ignition on. Um, <laughs> No, I can't get it stopped, but we have had it stopped on both speeds, haven't we? Yeah. It's we've definitely had it. stopped on both speeds. So don't think it's going to be the resistor side, because if it was if it's just through that, it would always work on fast speed. So I think it's down to the armature side. But let's get it stripped out. We'll show them it on the bench anyway, and then it'll be ready stripped out when the new motor comes in, won't it? Yeah. Right, let's get that done. Disconnect the battery in case that turns on while you've got your fingers in. Yeah, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Or just that little the little arm. Oh, I don't want to lose an hour. Straight round, whole nail off. One go. Bosh. Will ruin my Christmas. On a job, right? This was on a job. I bought my sister in law a car, a KA. Didn't have a lot of money. So I bought her a KA because she had an old punto. So I gave her the KA, and to try and get some money back on that, I took a punto, punto off her, which I was going to try and sell. And the only thing that weren't working was the wipers. So I was doing it just to get myself some money back on the money I spent to give her the car and ripped a nail off. Oh. Not good. I couldn't even... I don't even want to imagine that. Not fun. Right, so we got the wiper motor out on the bench. What we're going to do is take this cover off and see if we can look at the resistor or see if we can see any actual damage in there. And then we're going to take the motor apart and look at the armature. Here we go. Doesn't look bad at all, really. There's no obvious signs of anything. It doesn't look like there's anything crack a lacking, really. No. So it's more likely going to be the armature. So there's your powers in. Yeah. Yeah. They go through to the motor. So it's got an earth Speed and two lines. lines, high and low speed. That bit there, so you will have four sort of thin wire on there. That's what these bits do. So it must must go to earth and then tell it so it literally joins an earth to that spot. Yeah. So that's a slip ring. Like a squib. <laughs> that's a slip ring. That is what used to be like on a horn before you add wiring behind your, like on a, on a clock spring. <laughs> <laughs> on a, on a um, what? On a clock spring. Yeah. Before you had a clock spring, you would have a slip ring like that and it would just be a copper ring yeah. with another bit. And it would just make contact every yeah, time. Yeah, contact all the time. So, so yeah, so we know there's no resistor in there. It's going to be either on the board or on the armature. So that part is your switch, your position switch. So obviously that, that motor is going to spin round as a worm drive to turn that constantly, yeah? Yeah. Right, so yeah, strip that off. We'll show you the armature, show you what it's done. Oh, 
in your professional opinion, why doesn't this come off? Oh, it's just very magnetic, don't it? Yeah, it's just magnetic, isn't it? It is magnetic, yeah. So, do you know how the motor works? Oh. <laughs> no. So, that's just there for balancing. Get as smooth as they like you. So, if you have a, a high-speed fan, they would want to balance it. Yeah. So, these got magnets in it. Yeah. They're static magnets. So, what they do, magnets obviously repel against each other. Yeah. yeah. So, when voltage comes in, live and earth, it goes through one of them coils. So, this is the armature. There's your, there's your brushes going in there. So, that is literally one side will be earth, one side will be live. It touches, so it's touching that one there, that armature there. That joins to the one over here. So, it'll go up, round and winding over. And then come out here, yeah? Yeah. So it'll be live and earth. That makes that a magnetic field, yeah? Okay. Which will be opposite to whatever's near this. Yeah. So it will repel against that magnet, move around one section, go to the next part of the armature. Again, and it'll, just slightly, and it'll go around to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. And all it's doing is repelling against the magnets, the static magnets that are already in there. That's your armature there. You can see all that blackness around there. Yeah. It's just not getting a good contact between that brush and there. It used to be a thing that people used to rebuild motors and all they would do was take that all apart, clean that, clean it up on the lathe, put brand new brushes in there. So in fact, how close is that? So that brush, when it would have started, it's, it's only to where that wire is. It probably would have started most of the way up here. And as it's worn, it's just got closer and closer and closer. That's your brush in there, which goes across again, into there, around the coil, then over to the other brush. Um, so, yeah, that brush would have started slightly longer. And now it's got too close to it. It can be getting stuck, but you can see all that dirt on the armature. So that's a diode that stops any back feed. So that back feed, which was coming back through, that could actually be faulty. Because yep. that, when, let's like say, if that starts spinning... It'll just start acting as a generator. That'll start acting as a generator, and it shouldn't really come back out of that line. So that could have failed and be full circuit. Well, um, something that small to be generating, like, 40 volt. It's quite impressive. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? So, yeah. So the problem is... Yeah. So, yeah. If this was mine, I would clean that up, see how we go. If I cleaned it up, charge the fella an hour to do it, 75 quid, then put it all back in. If it fails on him in France, he's going to rage it up. He's going to moan about our, our workmanship and our, our, you know, our company. All trying to save him money is going to cost us, potentially cost us a customer and our reputation instead of just fitting a motor, which might be double the price of what we would charge him. But it's just not worth doing. No, nah. no, you could clean it and it could go wrong again in two days. Like, if, if we, if we had new, if we had like new brushes in stock and it was a good repair, but just giving it a quick clean up and then putting it all back in, when it comes back in, he's going to say, "I've already paid for it. Why have I got to pay again?" So then we've got to fit the motor. Even if we charge him for a new motor, we have to give him seventy five quid back for the hour we spent on it. Yeah. Then we've got to charge him for his motor, say two hundred quid. But then we've got to take it all apart again, fit it all back in there. So we've lost our first 75 quid, which we're going to charge for another job. We're losing another hour and a bit to fit the new one, all because we tried to save you money. So, yeah, people do say you should try and save them money. If you ask for it, you say, I just need to keep it on the road for another two weeks. It's literally going in for part X in two weeks' time. Can you do it? It would be his choice. But yeah. when it's our choice, we're not doing it. So we'll get a new one in. And hopefully we'll show you it running <laughs> once it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we can't do any more tests. So, all right, let's get one ordered. So, yeah, just, it, I would think it comes as just a motor. Yeah. But you might as well get it off just in case. I was going to say, I'll nip the arms off it. Yeah. So nip them off, disconnect them, 
yeah that, that will only pop off and just make sure that these are free as you like because these can seize up you used to it in um in renos that will get seized and burn the motor out so they've got to be free just in case they don't sell the whole thing yeah i'm not quite sure it comes so yeah, okay. double check them all right sounds good so we've got the new motor in got that from the dealer and managed to come through so put that in there run it up a few times all seems good doesn't it yeah she's absolutely perfect so yeah literally get it back together now put the arms on it so when obviously the arms are on it it will put it under more stress um but we know we're getting full voltage to it even when the motor stops so you know it's not a lot you can do is it so let's get that back together then you can do that yeah and uh yeah that one should be done shouldn't it so yeah put it all back together run it up for five minutes and then see what happens so that's another one done obviously checked out all the voltages to the motor Describe or worked out that it's got a resistor inside to slow it down, or it works off a different brush side of the motor. Brush, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's good for Barney to learn how the sort of system works, how a motor works, etc. So, yeah, it's worth stripping the motor down. We knew we were going to fit a new one, but yeah, it's quite an interesting. It's easier to try and work out how a motor works on something as basic as that, where yeah. it's literally on and off instead of get into a complicated one you're going Pfft, you know so the more you learn on the smaller basic stuff and this, again when you start uh, using the oscilloscope just do some basic tests to start with you'll get more confident in using it so when you have got a hard one you're not going to be sort of stuck, are you? stuck you know? on something so, i don't know how to use don't know. so right so that's another one done thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you can and uh yeah we will see you on the next one ta-da ta-da the fucking owl. Sorry. Oh, I hate Discovery Falls. Oh, that's fucking awful. Don't even know what that fucking word means. What does that word mean? That's what I imagine Chernobyl looks like. You're a diff. Baby, I love you, we. Every day. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Do all that. <laughs> and that. And that. <laughs> 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 Stop. <laughs>